See, one of the problems about we Nigerians is we are not good in taking actions and we are not accountable. So why am I saying this? Whenever problems commence, we always blame, look for who to blame. If it's not God, we blame it on anybody instead of taking actions and be accountable of our actions. Okay, let's take it for instance now. The football match that commenced, we lost. Now, watch the way Nigerians are bashing both everybody, even including God Almighty. Some people had to destroy some of their properties and keep blaming God. That God does not. Who told you that God does not exist? My, 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 it's not even, I'm not even angry that they are destroying their things. But what I'm trying to talk here is why are you blaming God? Why, why, why? When any problems come to you, you blame God. You are, you say, God, why me? Why, that you understand what I'm saying? Why are you blaming God? Why? Okay, let's take it for instance. Now, true out this football match we were the one winning and everybody was say god is faithful isn't it yeah truly god was faithful god was faithful we were winning it wasn't easy god was faithful and let's not say let's not leave the fact that the players did their part they did very very well now where do i come in you saw it that we were winning and everything and all of a sudden when you reached the final stage look at what happened our opponents defeated us. Now we put the blame on God. The truth is that if you are to blame anybody now, we are to blame our overconfidence and our relaxation. We, we today relax. See, so it's just for instance, you are in a battlefield. What are you supposed to do? You are supposed to stay focused until you get what you want. But no, some people immediately they just get what they want. A little bit. Nobody say they have reached their destination. No, they will still realize. I have, see all these things I'm saying now. As it, you have you are doing it, me too, it has happened to me. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That you should not blame anybody for any of your failures. Nobody. Let's take it for instance now. The the, the, the what is happening in the country due to some scarcity of um, food and all that. Price is all high, everything is high. Do you know what we are doing now? We are blaming God for putting us in this kind of country. And also, we are blaming the government. Who is made up of Nigeria? Everybody is calling Nigeria a rubbish country. And I'm going to tell you, Nigeria is a, is a good country. Let me they tell you. The truth is that me and you, who made up this Nigeria? Is it not me and you? Who is Nigeria? If they should say, who is Nigeria? Is it not me and you? It's me and you. Now, uh, the question there is, are you a true citizen of Nigeria? Most of you are not a true citizen of Nigeria. If I should just talk now, some of you are just like our, our, our politicians, our corrupt politicians. Most of you are very corrupt and evil in a way that sometimes uh, if to say God is human being, you would have slapped the hell out of you. You are blaming, you are blaming God. You are blaming the country, her country, the, her country, Nigeria, instead of taking responsibility and accountable of your actions. It's high time we start taking action and accountable for everything that we do. Now, let's take it for instance now. You are in a relationship. You, you knew you are caught in dating this guy or dating this girl. You saw it in this relationship. There is a loveless relationship. But you know what it is? See, God is faithful. I'm still saying, you see this God? is very faithful. God loves us so much. Just that we human beings, eh, we always take things for granted. God is faithful. You saw the red flags. If God does not love you, you will never see that red flags. You will never see that signs. You know, as a woman, you saw your guy. He's cheating. He's lying. You guys are caught in the you are dating. He's manipulative. All these certain things that, that is not good at all. He doesn't even want to adapt to changing. If he changes, maybe sometimes he will, he will just keep on being the same. You keep giving him chances, second chances, third chances, fourth chances. The same applicable to some guys. You find that your girlfriends always cheat on you. In your relationship, in Afuna, this person is not good to you. You keep giving second chances, third chances, fourth chances. This person doesn't want to change. You have even asked yourself, ah, maybe I'm the problem. Or you have even blamed yourself to change. And you still went ahead and got married to this person. Forgetting that, see, anything that does not change in relationship will never change in marriage. That's where you start blaming God. God, why me? I don't deserve this. I'm a good person. I'm this. I'm that. Am I not trying? Blah, 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 blah. 
It's just for instance, you know somebody is telling you in relationship that I will marry another wife for no this so you are not saying ah I will change his perspective. In a mumu, in a goof, not even second drug. You can never. Hmm? So please, we Nigerians need to learn how to be accountable about our actions. And let's learn to take actions. Let's stop leaving everything on God. Let's stop blaming God. God cannot do everything for us. He will do his part. And we are the, we are the human beings that have to do our own part. Hmm? One thing I know is that there is always a sign, a red flag for any evil. If anything wants to happen to you, because of the love God has for you, your chi has for you, your undoto has for you, they will show you the signs. If you are not careful, and do not blame any spirit, any God that you are serving for it. Rather, blame yourself. Be accountable of your actions and also set it right. They will